How much do you need to deposit now in order to have $3,000 in two years? Assume the account earns 3% simple interest. So here are some keywords here, simple interest, that will let us know what formula we need to use. Since we're dealing with simple interest, we need to use the simple interest formula. So the simple interest formula is I for interest is equal to the principal times the APR, which is your yearly rate, times the number of years. This will give you the amount of your interest. And that's what you earned. And that would be over the two years. The question is asking us to figure out what the principal is so that when I deposit the money in the bank, the principal plus whatever you have at the end of the two years for the interest will total $3,000. So what we need to do is we need to figure out the principal. So we have the principal plus the interest will give us a total of $3,000 at the end of the two years. The principal is what we're trying to solve for. We don't know what the interest is, but we know that in total, we want them to be $3,000. We know what the formula is for the interest, so I'm gonna put that in here. I'm just gonna label the principal as P. I know that the principal plus the interest, which is right here, the interest for simple interest is the principal times the APR times the number of years. That will give me the interest, and I want that to total $3,000. We're trying to figure out what the value of P is. We have the value for the APR and the year, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. The APR is 3%, the number of years is two. So I have the principal plus the principal times the APR, which is 3%, but as a decimal would be 0.03 times the number of years, which is two, and that will give us $3,000. So now if I take the 0 0.03 times two, that's gonna give me 0 0.06 times P. So I have P plus 0 0.06 times P is equal to 3,000. Now, even though we don't write it in here, we know that this is 1p. So I have 1p plus 0.06p to give me a total of 3,000. So I can combine these because they're both p's. So I have 1.06p is equal to 3,000. So now to solve for p, I just need to divide both sides by 1.06. I can cancel them out on this side. And my principal is going to be whatever I get when I take 3,000 divided by 1.06. So when I take 3,000 divided by 1.06, I get 2,830. And we need to round to the nearest cent. So this is going to be 19 cents. So what this tells me is if I deposit 28 or 2,830 and 19 cents into this bank that gives 3% simple interest, at the end of the two years, I would have earned interest so that the total gives me the 3,000. So I have that 3,000 at the end of the two years.